Hello guys, this is Rick from JBR Play, and welcome to my Berserker introduction video in For Honor. So here we are in the character selection screen. Now, as you can see, I'm already on the Berserker. I've played a little bit with the Berserker class, and it's quite fun, but not completely my kind of class. As you can see, um, the Berserker is called an assassin, and they're saying it's hard to master. It's kind of a short-range harasser. Um, this hero doesn't really have much blocking skill-wise. It's more sort of quick moves, get in there, try and quickly put, put some punches out, roll, dodge away, and attack them again. Kind of like, as you can say, an assassin-style class. Uh, so yeah, that is the Berserker intro screen. And now we're going to get into more the nitty-gritty of this class. So this is the Berserker moveset. So these are all the hero specific bits and bobs. Now here you've got Renown, which you get by fighting 1v1 fights, by killing enemy heroes and getting kill streaks to lock your feats in a match. This will also add to uh, Revenge Mode. Now Revenge Mode's boost damage and health, all attacks are interruptible, parry and throws knock enemies down, and attacks are auto parried on activation. Now this is sort of your your beast mode essentially if you activate this you become a lot stronger and you do a lot more damage and it can really prevent you from uh dying just on the brink of death which is really useful now we're going to defense reflex your guard stance only remains active for a limited time that's because you're a lightweight hero so you can't really take a beating hence why your guard mode is very limited and uh, now we're going to deflect Dodge in the direction of an incoming attack just before impact to deflect it. A deflect automatically guard breaks an attacking opponent. Uh, so this is again builds really to that sort of lightweight class you are and you are all about dodging. Now moving on to infinite interruptible chain. When performing a chain attack of four or more attacks, your attacks become uninterruptible. Additional attacks also cost less stamina. This is all about this quick class that attacks with short bursts, does a little bit of damage but overall just keeps on wailing uh, going on to infinite chain finisher a top heavy attack always ends in infinite chain it also inflicts extra damage it's sort of a finisher really after you've done a big combo wham kill him with a heavy attack going on to chain starter dodge attacks can initiate chain attacks very useful for this class close combat miss attack chains and the head crusher can be cancelled by a zone attack or a dodge if you realize you've made a mistake you can quickly change what you want to do moving on to cancel attacks you can cancel start of your basic attacks by dodge quite similar to your close combat ability and that is it for the berserker moveset so here we are in the raider loadout we are now going to have a look at the abilities or feats as they're called in this game now, first of all, there's multiple tiers. So there's a tier 1, 2, 3, and 4. And you unlock these tiers by completing actions within rounds. So if, like in Dominion, you get certain kills, do this and that, as you saw earlier in the bit about Renown, and then you level up, uh, and you can unlock these abilities. Now, Bounty Hunter is a passive gain health and stamina when you kill another hero. Very useful if you just assassinated someone and just need that little bit of a pickup to rush in. Going on to Rush, trigger to gain movement speed for a short duration. Um, can be useful to run away, really. Uh, it's okay. Not the biggest fan of this ability, really. And Stun Trap, set a trap that stuns enemy. Very useful to, on a bridge, stun an enemy and knock them off. And now we're going on to Revenge Attacks. Uh, this is a passive again. Attacks fill the Revenge Meter. So this is your revenge mode as explained earlier, where you can go a bit more on a rampage mode. Bear trap. Set a trap that damages and stops victims in their tracks. Not a big fan of this one. Uh, and doom banner. Nearby enemies have less powerful attack and defense. Very good in team mode games, especially something like a Dominion if they're all grouped up. Now throwing axe. If those annoying enemies are running away, throw an axe dealing moderate damage. And you can kill them. Very fun. Very satisfying. Sharpen Blade. Attacks inflict low damage over time. Also quite a nice one. If you're doing loads of little hits, you get a bit more damage out of them through this. And then the next one is Fury. Race sprint speed slightly and attack and defense greatly. 
Not sure about this one. I just feel it doesn't really belong with this class, really, to be honest. I think it belongs more with the sort of uh, heavier melee classes, not the light assassin class like this. And we've got Berserker. Race, sprint, speed, defense, and attacks greatly. Kind of the similar as the Fury from before. Fire Flask. Throw a projectile creating a fire effect over an area. Every class has this. It doesn't seem great. To be honest, I haven't used it, so I don't know. And then fear itself. Enemies around you have lower stamina, regeneration, and defenses. Very good for a hero that uh, can't really get through those defenses through brute force. And that is it for the feats. So this is the loadout screen with the appearance customization. Um, now, first of all, we're going to have a look at the outfits. Now, these are the battle ones. They're basic ones you can get. They cost a lot of steel, so I don't know... I wouldn't spend any steel on getting them. I'd rather buy packs. Uh, you've also got elite and mythic outfits. I haven't got those. I don't know how to get those, to be honest. Um, and then you've got reputation ones, which is essentially prestige ones. And you lock them with prestige 1, 2, 4, and 6. Now we're going to have a look at traits. Now you can choose to be a male or female. Not all classes can do this, though. So, yeah, it's quite used, fun to just sometimes change what you look like a bit. And then you've got skin color you can change. It's kind of your, your standard elements of what you can do. Um, and then you've also got chest and back. Like, you can change your symbols, like how they look, the paint patterns, that kind of thing. So here you've got your, your symbols. You can see my chest slightly changing. And uh, you've also got ornaments, and some of them look really cool. Like this here, I quite like the ornaments you could put. But again, it's quite expensive for just an aesthetic thing. Uh, you can change the materials, so what your shoulder pads and stuff, the materials of it look like. And you gain them with levels and reputation. And you can choose which one parts of your body you want to apply it to. Uh, and so yeah, the customization also applies to your shoulder. As you can see, the different paint colorations there. And again, reputation level will unlock those. Um, so yeah, you can see different shoulder. And then you got your color setups, so you can choose like what kind of color scheme you want, which I quite like. And so yeah, you can also change what kind of color schemes you have for attacker and defender, which is the blue and the orange sort of kind of combinations. Now going over to the weapons and the arms and helms and chests and stuff. Now I haven't got anything for this to show you, but you can just see the bits and bobs that you can change. So you can change the right head, the left head, and it'll give you different boosts. If you go to my previous video on the Raider, then you'll be able to find more information about the actual stats. And yeah, that's it for the Berserker customization part. So now we're back in the loadout screen with the abilities and we're going to have a look at executions. They're kind of brutal and awesome. Work the leg. It's kind of obvious why it's called that because you sweep them under the leg to kill them. Bam. Blood rage. Now nah, that's just what it is. Just a massive rage and chop off their heads. Awesome. And this is Valkenheim. Again, a decapitation one. Super brutal and awesome. Love it. Very expensive though, 5,000 steel. Now for Emos, Axe for Victory. He's happy to have won, and it's quite a cool one. Just like, come on, bring a bro. Despair, every hero has one of these where they're just like, everything's gone wrong. Why? Flip out. D not quite sure about this one. They do a jump, that, that's great, well done. And then combat, chest beat. As in, I'm pumped, I'm ready to go. Let's do this, handled. You point out your handle. So, hence handled. Really well thought out. Throat slitter. As the name describes, you slit your throat. And that's it for the emotes and executions. Now on to the combat. So here we are, round one. We're going to start with a bit of combat now. Um, so yeah, this here is all about agility and quick attacks. And sort of, that's the maneuver. So, as you can see, they take a massive beating and they don't do a lot of damage. But they tend to attack a lot quicker, as you saw there. Uh, they attack a lot quicker, which is their kind of advantage. Uh, but they can absolutely not take a beating. But they're able to, while somebody does a heavy attack or even some light attacks, they're able to just cut in and do a quick interrupt attack. And that's kind of what they're good for. As any hero, they all need stamina. And there you go. Just quick hit and runs, quick kind of in-between attacks. 
that is what this hero is about. That is what they're good at. Um, now we're going to watch another round where I kick his ass again. Uh, just to get you a bit more of a feel for this hero. So, guard break is always useful. That's the X button. That's the guard break if they're guarding, which a lot of people will be doing. And as you can see, even the heavy attacks tend to be quicker than their heavy attacks. Uh, now, if you run out of stamina, the best option usually is to make sure you get out a little bit or block. Um, because you, c you can't really do any attacks anymore, especially this hero. You can't, you can't dodge roll either, so really it's the best method is then to run away. And as you can see, sometimes you see those little red circles. That's guard break. That's when you can attack. It's very useful. And yeah, that's it for the combat video. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful for you. If you liked it or want to leave a comment below, that's much appreciated. If you even want to subscribe to see more videos, that would be awesome. And thanks very much for watching.